night, friends. Shabbat Shalom and good Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom and good Shabbos. Yes, Miranda is here. It is a uh, pleasant evening outside, a little humid for me, but uh, in general, it has been a, a very nice day. And, you know, tonight uh, begins Tisha B'Av, but we, we bump that to Sunday, and I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell us more about that later. But uh, all in all, a pretty good day here in Huntington. And it is Shabbos. So, or on the cusp of Shabbos, it'll be Shabbos in a few minutes for us once we bench lit, once we have the candles lit. And uh, Miranda, would you like to light the candles this evening? Oh, yes, of course. Um, let's see. Let's, let's see. Page two is the blessing. Two. Sorry, I'm used to writing. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. And uh, it's uh, also birthday and anniversary Shabbat, and uh, Miranda celebrated a birthday yesterday. 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 Yeah. So uh, we have birthday her here weekend. today. It could be a birthday month. Yeah, birthday month, exactly. Okay. Well, there you go, more people, yay. <laughs> okay. um, so let's see the English version. You can do that and then light it and then the blessing. Okay. As these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we, by our lives, give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we, in our own day, be among those who kindle light. O oh, source of light and truth, creator of the eternal law of goodness, help us to acknowledge to find knowledge by which to live, lead us to take the words we shall speak into our hearts and our lives. Bless all who enter this sanctuary in need, all who bring the offering of their hearts. May our worship lead to acts of kindness, peace, and love. And we, oh boy, now this is right. Push that. No, no, push, push it. No, 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 push that part forward. Okay. Down, forward. And now uh, pull the trigger. Okay, I'm apparently not good at this. <laughs> Come on. Push it off. Okay, could you do it and then I'll, I'll see what that is. Thank you. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, let's continue welcoming Shabbat. On page nine, let's read responsibly in English, page nine. <clears throat> there are days when we seek our, for ourselves and measure failure by what we do not gain. There are days when we exploit nature as if it were a horn of plenty that can never be exhausted. There are days when we act as if we care nothing for the rights of others. So we embrace Shabbat, day of rest, day of wonder, day of peace. All right, let's jump ahead to page 20 for L'chai Dodi. Kabbalat Shabbat, the idea for Kabbalat Shabbat comes to us not from the ancient rabbis uh, or even the medieval rabbis. It comes to us from the more modern mystics, the mystics of Sfat. Um, and uh, speaking of Tisha B'Av, most of the mystics of Sfat got there because of the expulsion from Spain, which happened, yes, you guessed it, Tisha B'Av in 1492. But uh, Shlomo Halevi Alkabates, one of the great Kabbalists, the Mukubali, penned this for us, and uh, we use it every Friday night. Top of page 20, Lecha Dudi. Lecha Dudi, Likra Kala, Penei Shabbat Nikabila. Lecha Dudi, Likra Kala, Penei Shabbat Nikabila. Shamo, Pazako, Bidibo, Hor, Echad, 
Ki hishmi ahadu en ahad yuchad, Adonai echad ushmao echad, L'shem ulti peret beli tila, Alechad yodi likrat kala, Kedei shabahad nikabila, Likrat shabat lehu venecha, Ki mekor ha-habracha, Merosh mi kedem nehesucha, Soma ha-sem emachshema t'chila, Alecha yodi likrat kala, Pedei shabahat nekabila, Mikda hashmelech shtir melucha, Kumitzehi mitocha mecha, Radla hakshevet t'yeme chabacha, Behu yachamoho lalai chemla, Lecha yodi likrat kala, Pedei shabahat nekabila, Yitna harim yamma harkumi, Lichi mi deiti farkehe chami, Al yad benishai betalach mi, Kuhor ba'el nashi ge'ala, Alecha yodi likra kala, Penehe shabaha nekabila, Ito hori, ito hori, Kihi ma uri kumihi uri, Uri uri shir da beri, Kibod Adonai alai kifa, Lecha jodi likra kala, Penehe shabaha nekabila, Lo te moshi, Lo te kobi, Mahatish tocha chi mahatemi, Bach yech esu, ani yehe ambi, Benihim neta ir al tila, Lecha doli likra tala, Penehe shabahat nekabila, Lahayu l'shimsa, shoho sayich, V'rahacha kuhu kol neba layich, Yasi salayich elohayich, Ki him sos khatan al-kala, Lecha dodi likra kala, Penehe shabaha yekabila, Yami usmol, ki hi proci, Vieta donai taharitsi, Al yahadish vehen parci, Peni hi smecha benagila, Lecha dodi likra kala, Penehe shabahat nekabila, Bohi v'shalom ateret ala, Gaham v'sihim chauf sohola, Toch emune am segula, Bohi v'shala, Bohi v'shala, Lecha dodi likra kala, Page 22, we'll look at some verses from Psalm 92, the Psalm for Shabbat. And let's read the outdented paragraph together in English. A psalm, a song for Shabbat. It is good to praise Adonai, to sing hymns to your name, O Most High. To proclaim your steadfast love at daybreak, your faithfulness each night, with a ten-string harp, with voice and lyre together. You have gladdened me by your deeds, Adonai. I shout for joy at your handiwork. How great are your works, Adonai, how very subtle your designs. A brute cannot know, a fool cannot understand this. Sadi <laughs> Yahweh, oh, give me 
in the Gemara, in the Talmud, in Masechet Shabbat, in Tractate Shabbat, that on Shabbat, two angels come to be with us and uh, to wish us a Shabbat Shalom. And they accompany us home and they spend Shabbat with us and then go back at the end of Shabbat. So we welcome them on the top of page 24 with Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hashari. Malachi El Yohon, Yihile, Malachi Allah, Imhatad, Baruchu. Malachi Shalom, Malachi Hashalom, Malachi El Yohon, Yihile. Six, we've completed Kabbalat Shabbat. We have welcomed the Shabbos Queen who spends Shabbat with us. We are now on page 146. I'll ask all who are able to rise for Baruch Hu. Baruch Hu et Adonai HaMevorach Baruch Adonai Hamvorach, Le'olah Hamvai. Let's read it together in the English on page 147, the first blessing before the evening shema. Adonai, the majesty is proclaimed by the marvels of earth and sky, sun, moon, and stars, testify of your power and wisdom. They follow the day in the successions, and the years vanish. But your sovereign and your doors. Though all things pass, let not your glory depart from us. Help us to become co workers with you and endow our clean gains with the binding work. Baruch Akhahai, Ahahadi, Ahahadi. Page 148. Ahabat Olam, Beit Yisrael, Tobrahu Bitzbo, Ukibu Mishpati, O Tanu Li Mahadeta, Al Kain Adonai Elohei, the Shahmeinu Ukumeinu, Nasiach Behu Kecha, Benismach, Benibre Toratecha. Baruch 
Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Ve'ahatta ha'ed, Adonai Elohecha, ve'chol ha'kaha, ve'chol nafshecha, ve'chol mi'ochecha. Ve'hayu advarim ha'eleh, asher anokim etzavecha, hayahom alvavecha, v'shinantaham lavanecha, v'shinantaham v'shifecha 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 Ushartam la ohot, ayatecha, le hayula kota kohot, le nehecha, uchtaham, alzo te teha, ubi sharecha. Le man tizkeruhu, la asi tehem, le komit kotai, le hem kedoshi, le loe Ahani Adonai Eloheim, Asher Hotzeit Yefem Le'eretz Mitzrayim Le'ot Lachem Le'elohim. Ani Adonai Eloheim. Page one hundred fifty-one at the top. I'm sorry, not at the top, at the top of the English. Let's read this responsibly. 151. We worship the power that unites the universe, a promise of harmony for all. Before our eyes, there is a vision of perfection, order, and goodness. When will redemption come? Long ago, we escaped the tyranny of Egypt. Our people saw the power of the Most High. We learn that our story is being and so we celebrate this power and make it a favor for you. Top of page 152, Mi Chamocha. Mi Chamocha, Ba'elim Adonai. Mi Chamocha, Nedar Bakodesh, Nohorati Do, Ahuseh Ehev Ehev. Malputecha ra'u banecha, bokeyam lifnei Moshe, zeli anu v'yamruhu, Adonai yimok v'yolam ho'ed, v'nem har kifad Adonai et Yaakov, v'galdo miyad chazak v'menu, v'aruh at Adonai, Top of page 153, first two lines of Hashkidenu. Hashkidenu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom Hamidenu Shobreinu Lechayi Hashkidenu Adonai Eloheinu v'shalom v'ha'amideinu shobreinu v'ha'ayim. Let's read together in English. Give us a place to rest, O God. Shelter us in the long, soft, evening shadows of your truth. You are true protection and safety. In your presence we find love and acceptance. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace, over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch atah nai, aporei suchat shalom aleinu, v'yal kol amo Yisrael, v'yal Yerushalayim. Off of page 154, verses from the book of Exodus, from the book of Shemot, reminding uh, the people Israel of our obligation to protect, to keep Shabbat, as it is a sign between us and between God, between God and us. Page 154 at the top, Nishamru. 
ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדורותם בבית העולם ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדורותם בבית העולם ביני וביני בני ישראל אותי לעולם ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדורותם בבית העולם כי ששת ימים עשה אדוני עשה אדוני את השמיים ואת הארץ ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדורותם בבית העולם וביום השביעי שבת וינפש שבת וינפש שבת וינפש ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדורותם בבית העולם All right, friends, we are at the central prayer of our evening service, the Amidah, and we will be chanting pages 155, 156, and 157 together, and then we're going to go silently through the end of the Amidah. As you complete the Amidah, you can read the Hebrew, you could read the English translation, or offer up your own prayer during that time. But we'll begin together on 155, and I ask all who can, please rise. Adonai Sifatai Tita Uri Ayi Vimatera Adonai Sifatai Tita Uri Ayi Vimatera Adonai Open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch Atah Adonai Elohim, <laughs> There's <laughs> Mashi Harua, Moriha Tal, Mecha Pel Haim, Mecha Yenitim, Rahim, Rahim,
So completing Army Doc, please take, uh, take your time and complete it as you will. We're going to jump ahead to page 160 and read together in English in the middle of the page. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may we all live in such a way that this day fulfills its promise. Baruch atah Adonai, Adesh Mashallah. Uh, page 163, a little bit of Hoda'ah, a little bit of Thanksgiving. And uh, today I am thankful for making 12 new friends. Um, we had a memorial service here this afternoon, and there were 12 young people uh, ranging from a few months old up until er, uh, almost a teen. And uh, they were very excited to learn and see where the Torah slept and uh, what it looked like. So I made 12 new friends, and they had great names. There was a Henry, there was a Josiah, there was a Jeremiah, there was a, uh, oh, oh, huh. I'm blanking on the prophet's name. <laughs> Amos? No, no, but he's in one of those, um, he's in that group. Um, it'll come to me, it'll come to me. Um, but uh, lovely, lovely people, and so I am very grateful that I had the opportunity to meet them today. So on the top of page 163, let's read responsibly. For the good in us which calls us to a better life, we give thanks. For the desire in us which leads us to work for peace, we are grateful. Malachi. Malachi. My name is Malachi. I pronounced it the Hebrew way, Malachi, and he corrected me. No, it's Malachi. Okay. All right. Go learn Hebrew. I know. Come on. Page 164 at the top will close out with a prayer for peace. In the evening, it is Shalom Ra. Shalom Ra, Mal Yisrael, Tasim Leolam. Shalom Ra, Mal Yisrael, Tasim Leolam. Ki atahu melech adohon. Shalom. <laughs> Shalom Shalom Raha, O Yisrael, Am Taha, Tasim Leolam, Tasim Leolam, Tasim Leolam. Praise are you, Adonai, who blesses your people Israel with peace. Baruch atah Adonai, Amivarech et Amo Yisrael. Jump ahead to page 253, the Mishaberach, a prayer for healing. If you have anybody who needs some healing, whether it's physical, emotional, spiritual, keep them in your thoughts and close to your heart as we prepare for Mishaberach. Mi shebehra ahavuhu mekor habracha lehi bohu tenu. May the source of strength who bless the one 
before us. Help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing. And let us say, ah, 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 Bless those in need of healing with Ripua Shlema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, ah, ah, Let us jump ahead to page is 258 and 259. Prayers for our community. And David, how about the prayer for our congregation? Source of all being. May the children of this community learn these passions from us. Love of Torah, devotion, and prayer, and support of the needy. May we guide with integrity and may our leadership be in your service. And those who teach and nourish us be blessed with satisfaction. May we appreciate their time and their devotion. Bless us with the fruits of wisdom and understanding. May our efforts bring fulfillment and joy. Baruch atah Adonai, shotecha l'vata b'yirchad na'avot. Mari, the prayer for our country, please. Thus says Adonai, this is what I desire, to unlock the fetters of wickedness and untie the cords of lawlessness, to let the oppressed go free, to break off every yoke. Share your bread with the hungry and take the wretched poor <coughs> into your home. When you see the naked, give clothing and do not ignore your own kin. If you banish the yoke from your midst, the menacing hand, the evil speech, if you offer compassion to the hungry and satisfy the famished creature, then your light shall shine in darkness. Thank you, gentlemen. Shalu, shalom, Yerushalayim, Yishlayu, Havai. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. Avinu, Shabbat Shemayim, Sur Yisrael, the Goalo, Barech, and Hedinat Yisrael. Again, Aleha, Yabrat, Hastecha, Ufros, Aleha, Sukhat, Shomecha, Ushlah, Uraha, Ramikha, Narasheha, Sareha, Yoetseha, the Tafne, the Eta, Toba, Milfanecha, the Natata, Shalom, Baagat, the Simchat, Olam, Yoshleha, the Namar, Ame. Dennis, would you read the English for us, please? Our Heavenly One, Protector and Reader and Redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all to seek peace. Shield beneath the wings of your love, spread over it the canopy of your peace, send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and fulfill with joy for all who dwell there. Amen. Amen. Thank you all. All right, friends, Shabbat Shalom and good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. All right, this week's Parsha is uh, Devarim. We begin a brand new book of the Bible. It is the fifth book of the Torah, and it is a bit of a renegade book. Um, when we ended Bamidbar last week, B'nai Yisrael was poised to go into the land. And now in Devarim, we get a restatement of a lot of what happened before. Devarim actually means words. And these are Moshe's final speeches to the people of, uh, that he has led, to the children of Israel. In Greek, it's called Deuteronomy, fancy way of saying second law. And in uh, our tradition... Sometimes Bamidbar, I'm sorry, sometimes Devarim in some of the Hasidic literature is referred to as Mishnah Torah, the second Torah, because it's basically a, a restatement of a lot of what happened in the previous books of Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers. There's a lot of review, but I think out of the hundred and some meets vote, in the, in the book that we find the, some of the commandments, um, 70 of them are new. <laughs> but 
but they all deal with having been having settled the land. So one of the pieces that uh, we think that it, King Josiah, one of the great kings of Israel. Now, if you study the history of ancient Israel, you know that a lot of our kings were losers, um, not just losers, but very dangerous people. Um, king Saul, for example. But then we have Solomon and we have David and we have King Josiah, one of the great kings. And they think that he might be the author of the fifth book of the Torah. And legend has it, we, we see this in, in a Haftarah, that uh, he discovers that the people who were, who were taking care of the money in the temple, uh, they had called for a tax or they had called for something, for people to give donations for the upkeep of the temple. And the temple was in pretty rough shape. Uh, the money wasn't being used properly. And so he decided he was going to clean house figuratively, um, you know, calling all of the accountants on, onto the table and saying, you know, you're, you're cooking your books. We have all this money that was sent to the temple and the, the, the ceiling is falling down. Um, the, the sidewalks are chipped. You know, you should be taking care of this. And so um, let's see what's what. So he opens the books. He, he, he takes care of all of that. And apparently he also does some spring cleaning and in a closet of all places, a scroll is found. And it turns out to be the book of uh, Devarim, of Deuteronomy. And uh, we think he might have written it. It could have been written by anybody, but there's a mitzvah fulfilling the mitzvah of writing a Sefer Torah. Every king is supposed to write a Sefer Torah. And perhaps Josiah did this. The setting is for the entire book is the wanderings are over. They are literally camped on the bank of the Jordan, looking over into the land. And they're about to enter in. Moshe is going to die at the top of Mount Nebo. And this, I think we could say that uh, the book, the entire book of Deuteronomy is his last lecture. A series of speeches that he gives to the Israelites reminding them that God is fulfilling the promise made to the patriarchs, made to Abraham way back in the book of Genesis. I will make you a great nation and your children will have this land. He recalls a time when things were too much for him and God told him to appoint wise leaders to help him. He reminds them of the time uh, that they were slaves and frightened that um, he reminds them of the time that the spies also uh, came back with that bad report and that the punishment was for that generation, that that generation, the generation that came out of the land of, of Egypt, that came out of Mitzrayim, that saw the miracles, that saw the 10 plagues, that saw the crossing of the Sea of Reeds, that saw, stood at Mount Sinai and heard the lightning and saw the thunder, which I did not get that mixed up. That is actually how it's put in the Torah. They saw the thunder and they heard the lightning. That generation, with the exception of Caleb and Joshua, they do not get into the land. So Moshe is basically preaching to the people who didn't see the miracles, but he's reminding them of all the things that have happened. And then he recounts the route that they took during the 40 years of the wandering. This is not the generation that should have entered the land of Israel. These are the ones who should have been born in that land. Their parents and grandparents should have been there, but they lacked faith. This generation didn't experience the great miracles, but what Moshe is doing is letting them know where they've been, where their ancestors have been, so they can see the direction in which they now travel. For those who are counting the mitzvot, we are at number 415. There were two negative commandments in this week's Parsha. Two of them don't do. And that's this week's Parsha in a nutshell. All right. At sundown tonight, it will be technically Tisha B'Av, the darkest day on our calendar. We bump it to tomorrow night into Sunday because we do not fast on Shabbat, except on Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur trumps everything. But Tisha B'Av, which is only the second major, the, the one of two major fasts on the calendar, the other being Yom Kippur, um, 
is a dark vein. Now, we've talked about this a little bit in some of my classes that other traditions have sad days or unhappy days spread throughout the entire year. All of our sadness falls on Tisha B'Av. All right, um, just so you know, I've got nine events that have all happened on Tisha B'Av. And you'll, you'll agree, I hope, that uh, they're pretty dark. The first Tisha B'Av was when God decreed that the children who came out of Israel, Egypt will not go to the Promised Land. Now, that was the report of the spies. The first temple in 586 BCE was destroyed. The second temple was destroyed in 70 of the current era. The massacre of the Jews at Beitar, which effectively bought, brought the Bar Kokhba revolt to an end um, in 135 CE, 135 of the current era. That revolt, that Bar Kokhba revolt, was the moment. Um, I don't know when, if you study in a lot of Jewish history, but we came very, very, very close to defeating Rome at, at that time. Uh, we some tactical errors on on our leaders' parts, but we became very, we came very, very close to Rome. And one of the reasons that Rome was so vicious at the end was that they were going to make an example of, of us. Uh, we came close to toppling Rome, and they wanted to make sure that no other country got that idea. So at, this is where they basically broke the back of Israel in 135 and brought all the revolts to an end. In 1290, the Jews were expelled from England and not let in until... Was it Cromwell in the 1600s? Maybe a little bit earlier. In 1492, the Jews were expelled from Spain. All of this is on Tisha B'Av as well. World War I began. Well, not necessarily a Jewish event. World War I did have um, a lot to do with what happened during World War II. And so that World War I began on Tisha B'Av. The beginning of the liquidation of the Warsaw Ghetto during World War II began on Tisha B'Av. And in 1994, the JCC bombing in Argentina took place on Tisha B'Av, right? These are nine heavy events. There are others, I am certain, but these are the ones that, that we remember. It's a day of collective mourning, right? All It seems that all of the bad things that have happened to us, the destructions of the temple, the massacres, expulsions, all happen on or around Tisha B'Av. And like Yom Kippur, it's a day where we afflict our soul. We fast. We don't wear leather. We don't anoint ourselves, meaning we don't put on uh, perfumes or colognes. We don't shower. And uh, we refrain from adult interactions in terms of relationships. When we come to synagogue um, tomorrow evening, we'll sit on the floor. The room will be dark. We'll use flashlights to see. And we will read the Book of Lamentations, the Book of Echa. There were three weeks leading up to Tisha B'Av, uh, and we call those the three week. The, we had three haftarahs of rebuke, where the prophet Isaiah basically yells at us and says, "What's going to happen? You could have changed, but you didn't." And then it had we out of after Tisha B'Av, we have seven weeks of consolation, and that leads us into the to the high holidays. So Tisha B'Av basically reminds us of a bunch of different things, and not, none of them are happy. But what's its meaning for us today? We're thinking back to the time of the, the, the ancient Israelites with, with the spies. We think back to the first and second temples. Nobody misses them, right? We don't. Nobody here remembers fondly taking a goat to be sacrificed, right? So what 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 meaning does it have for us today? Well, if you were paying attention, many times Tisha B'Av leads us to exile. And we become immigrants. We become, um, we're let, let, see, let loose in the sea of humanity, and we have to find places to live. We were exiled. And so in this day and age where immigrants and immigrations are a big concern, we need to figure out how to treat immigrants humanely and to solve 
the problems or the difficulties that we might have with them because we ourselves were immigrants, all of us. Not maybe not literally, maybe we were born here, but my grandparents, my great grandparents, they were born somewhere else. The ancient Israelites, the rabbis in the Second Temple period, they were exiled from uh, Jerusalem and Israel and wandered, and many wound up in Europe. We look at the past the darkness and remind ourselves of the present light. Mark, you're going to like this. We are hopeful. We are filled with hope because we look at how far we've come. We were exiled in 586. We, uh, the, uh, uh, before the current era, we were exiled in 70 of the current era. We had our land literally taken from us in, by the Romans in 135. We were exiled from just about every place we have ever lived. And we're still here. We're still here. Where are the Greeks who tried to wipe us out? Where are the Romans? Where are the Nazis? They're all gone. But we are still here. And on Tisha B'Av, we take that moment to realize how far we have come and how far is still to go. The Tisha B'Av is ultimately a, a hopeful day. On Tisha B'Av, we read a, what thing, uh, poems, a sad prayers that are called keynote. And if you take that word keynote, you take the Hebrew letters and rearrange them. Rabbis love to do this. Um, right? The word keynote with a with a kuf, a yud, a nun, and a tav, you can rearrange those letters to spell the word tikkun, which means to repair. So out of our sadness, out of this, this devastating day of Tisha B'Av, we come out of it with a sense of urgency to repair, to make the world a better place, to keep from hap to keep others from experiencing what we, our ancestors, experienced many, many times in our history. A dark day? Yes. But even when we would sit here in the dark synagogue, we still have a source of light, a flashlight or a candle. So it is a sad day, but ultimately a hopeful day. Shabbat shalom. Good shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. All right. Let's get, uh, no, not get ready. Maury, what time is it? Kiddush. It's Kiddush time. Yes, it is. <laughs> Kiddush for Friday evenings for Arab Shabbat. No, I'm sorry, for Leil Shabbat. It's not uh, the evening before Shabbat. It is actually Shabbat. Elohim <laughs> Shabbat <laughs> Nikoha <laughs> 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 
towards closing out our evening service. Page 282. Sites. Herbert Neufeld, Mark's father, married to Enid. Joe Mendelson, Evelyn's husband, father of Carol, Anne, and Teddy. Deborah Polker, friend, daughter of Herb and Betty Polker. Inga Field, Bill's wife, David's mother. Estelle Klein, Murray's wife, Mitch's mother. Barbara Mayer Good, Paul Mayer's sister. Edith Poland, Joan Weisberg's maternal aunt. Jenna Rose Bro, wife of Adolf Bro, Ruby Holbert, Sharon Pressman's mother, Philip Miller, B. Geringer's fa father, Bertha Miriam Poland, Lake Junior's mother, Lake Senior's wife, Harry Klein, Mitch Klein's grandfather, Albert Poland, Sydney's father, Marilyn's uncle, Reba Slotkin, daughter of Louis and Lillian Gaffin. May their souls be bound up in the bond of life eternal. May their memories be a blessing to us all, and may they always rest in peace. Amen. Warner's Kaddish is found on page 294. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> 
Amen. All right, you may be seated. All right, friends, Shabbat Shalom and good Shabbos. Good Shabbos. All right, it is the first Shabbat of August, and it is birthday and anniversary month. So I have the secret list of August birthdays and anniversaries. And I know that uh, Miranda has a birthday or had a birthday. And upcoming birthdays are Patricia Johnson, Lisa Ketchum, Michael Han, Diane Shadows, Judy Lundy, Dr. Joseph Shapiro, and Mrs. Marla Bal Balakwa. And so, uh, Miranda, you're the only one here today. So come on up. I'm come sure. on up. I'm like, uh, where is everybody? But Pat Shaw's writing in the envelope. I know for sure. <laughs> I'm just going And for anniversaries, uh, yes, who's the anniversary? we had the Shadows. <laughs> The Brodoffs, Jared Colker and Lauren Angel, the Peter Levies, the Woodruffs, and uh, the William Blicks all have anniversaries this month. So we have birthdays and anniversaries. And because Miranda's here, if you all were here, you would get a, a special blessing. I don't have to like the hymns. You don't have to do anything. You just have to stand here and uh, tell me your Hebrew name when I ask for it. Oh, yes, yes. Um, it's, uh, uh, Gosh, Miriam, um, the Fat, Imuna, um, um, Ruben. Okay. 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 Miriam, Okay. 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 Elohim Yom Hil Vada Ad Hayom Haze, Hakadash Baruchu, Yishmor Otav, Yetomish Pachtav, Yishlak Racha, or Hatzlacha, Bahoma Ase Yadeha, in Ko Yisrael Acheha, in Omar. Amen. May God who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rachel, and Leah, bless Miranda, who has come this, uh, who has come here today with reverence for God, respect for Torah, and respect for Shabbat. Grateful to God for the gift of life which she has enjoyed until this day. May the Kaddish Photo who continue to bless Miranda with length of years, good health, and the pleasures of Torah study. And the profound satisfaction comes from a life of Masi and Tobi, a life of good deeds. In celebrating this and other birthdays, may Miranda's example remind us that people may count the days of their life, but a person of wisdom makes every day count. Let us all say, Amen. Amen. And I promised sweets, so oh, there are Hershey. some Hershey bars Hershey. for you. Uh, Thank you. And I share it with you all the to, other birthday you, you share people. It, yes. And, uh, and all the animal and, uh, other birthdays. And Zoom land out there watching. Okay. <laughs> Miranda's got the candy. She's got the goods. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, just uh, some quick announcements. <laughs> okay. Services tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. And then tomorrow evening at 8 o'clock, we'll gather back here in the chapel for... Uh, Tisha B'Av observance. We'll do a little learning and then we'll uh, hear selections of the book of Echa chanted in the trope and we'll read the book of Echa aloud, the book of Lamentations. Um, and Sunday morning service is as normal, 9 a.m. Uh, no adult learning on, on Sunday. Uh, we'll pick up again towards the middle of this month with our uh, meandering through the Midrash. Monday night at uh, 6.30 is our deep dive into Genesis. Um, Noah and his family have just been granted um, permission to eat meat. So it's not a good day for uh, the animals. Tuesday night is a board meeting. Wednesday night. Oh, the Yiddish choir. The Yiddish, Academia. The Yiddish choir, the best little Yiddish choir from coast to coast, the choir with the most. <laughs> Um, they are in law, they are live and on Zoom. Yes. And so um, if you are here, please join them. And you know, they have people from all across the country. So it's 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 wonderful. And then we'll be back on uh, next Friday night for Shabbat. Uh, we are open. Please join us. Come and join us live, not just on Friday nights, but Shabbat morning. Um, I'm telling you, if we get people coming on Shabbat morning, there are lots of surprises that we'll be having. So uh You've got to come to find out what they are. 
and Sunday mornings as well for the Sunday morning minion. And all of our classes and our meetings, we're all in person. Please, please come. Um, it's about community. It's about the building, not just standing empty, but filled with people, building community, making friendships, making um, our community stronger. <laughs> so lots going on, and please, please join us. All right. We'll close out uh, with one last song on this uh, first Shabbat of August. We'll close out with Adon Alam, page 321. As I melek shemo ni pra vi aharein di flo tapo levado i mohok nohra vehu haya vehu hove vehu iye beti ara vehu ehan di ein shehi leham shelo lehafira beli reishi beli tachli. Beloha <laughs> The Imruhi Gibiati Adona Haili Vedoira. All right, looks like we have some people saying hello to us via the interwebs. And let us see who they are this evening. Well, there's mom. All right, mom, Shabbat Shalom to all from Rabbi's mom and Cliff. Thanks, mom and Cliff from Hot and Humid Crackville. Well, it's hot and humid here. Uh, oh, also to from my my nephew Nathaniel. Shabbat shalom to my uncle Rabbi Judd. Thank, thank you, Nathaniel. And Melanie Samuels from the Holy City of Brooklyn. She says good Shabbos to all from hot and humid Brooklyn. Well, two other H's, hot, humid, but the Holy City of Brooklyn. Rabbi, thank you for extremely interesting talk tonight. Well, thank you, Melanie. Um, stay cool. Everybody have a great Shabbat. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat we hope to see you here shalom. soon. And please, please be careful out there. Good job, 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 Good job,